Hi everyone, welcome in this webinar live trading session. So the rules to remind you is uh, if I get two out of the money I will stop and we will provide one minute uh, trades. Some of them can be taken on five minutes, I will advise you. So the best expiration if you take if you play on IQ will be to take the end of the next candle after the touch of the level that I will tell you. Not less than one minute. Most of the time it's one, one and a half minute. I will try to make four to five trades like the two last time and I will concentrate this time more on making you tr take the trade the best as, uh, as I can to guide you and I will not trade on my part because when I trade on my part I lose the focus to provide you guidance so I prefer to, to stay with you as much as I can and providing you some more guidance than focusing on my trade So let's begin. Today, as it seems every Wednesday, we will not trade the GPY pairs, currency pairs, because there is a new GPY at the end of this hour, so it might affect a little the market, even if it's a little one. Since we trade one minute, I prefer to to let you in a safe, safe haven. So we will trade today the odd USD, the euro odd, and the euro USD three pairs so it permit to stay a little more focused and uh, take on is a good good level so let's start with the odd usd my first setup is not this one but this yellow line for me this is a safe line for a put so if the price reach this line which is a 74 you should look at the same chart on one minute on your IQ option and place an horizontal line. So for a put it will be this line and for a call it will be the blue line at the bottom right here. Yeah, we have several touch, several touch and it doesn't break this level so it should stay good. And what you can see also is a formation of a triangle but this triangle doesn't give us any indication of the future direction. It just tells you that the price is making some, some indecision process. And as much as the triangle gets narrow and narrow, the price might explode in one or the other direction for breakout that it will, that will continue for, for some, some specific time. So I know the price must move up or down soon. That's what my triangle tells me. So I will still keep my support zone at the blue line here because this is the safest that I see on my one minute chart. So you can take one minute expiration as I said. Five minute can be safe for this level also because as we can see five minutes later nearly all the time it goes in the opposite direction. Same with the yellow line at the top. 5 minute trade seems to be quite good but we have only 3 touch and after it's broken but we have 1 win here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so this one is not really a clear win the second is so that's it so 1 minute for me for the top line will be a better opportunity <coughs> so that's it for the euro for the sorry odd USD I will keep it here be better for me. Yeah. So next we will analyze the euro odd. So euro odd. Let me zoom in a little. So the two yellow lines in the middle represent um, a support or resistance but more something like a zone than a regular line because the price react but not exactly at the same point. So for me this is not the clearest uh, level because the price sometimes bounces at the upper band and sometimes at the lower band. It might be better to take a 5 minute trade at this level. But not exactly right now because we see the price is consolidating where it, where it is. So it might explode up or down. And if we look we can see again another congestion pattern which is a triangle 
again in this area so most likely it will break this zone and break up or down even the yellow line at the top is not one of the best uh, best level because if it explodes from here it might break it and it may be a good way to follow it for a call when it will have break it and then when it will retouch again this level better than what's happening right now so on the euro odd my bottom line is this line so let me show on IQ so we will start by audio SD one minute chart so top here and bottom here so the top should be our next level will be exactly here exactly here and the bottom line on odd USD will be exactly at this level so our odd USD chart is ready to take on our broker which is binary uh, IQ sorry for me right now and after I will look at the euro odd and I will do the same I will place my level for my next trades so one minute chart, clean all, and now I will play. So this top will be most likely for breakout. So I will not take this level for a put, but most likely if it break up, I will take it for a call after that. And let me review. Yeah, this is downstairs. Yeah, this level is the best for a call at the bottom. exactly here so I have my two level and my middle line yeah. it's broken so many times I don't know if I put it on my chart no it's not necessary or maybe if there is a breakout yeah I will put it still so just below the price yeah and as you can see which is good with uh, IQ option is you have some grid better than on meta trader where you can see the round number of the price like for example this this line is uh, like 1499 400 so this is kind of round number and every little gray line behind our chart is in indicated us that this line is a round number and exactly at the middle here we are at 1.5 this is a round number so it's a powerful number and the price is attracted to it and rejected for one candle most of the time when it touches for the first time and if it comes from a, an area that is quite far like this zone at the bottom of my chart if it comes back to this 1.5000 most likely I can take a trade and it will be safer to take five minutes because what because the market condition exactly right now tell us that the price react most of the time more on five minutes than on really one minute even this call here when it broke in this round number you you took it for one minute you will be out of the money but if you take for one two three four five minutes it was a lucky one but still it's in the money so so for this specific level in the middle i will take five minutes if it makes a significant move above or below when it will retouch so this is it for the euro odd and the third will be euro usd yeah well the payout on iq is not really good so i will try to not focus so much on this currency pair because when you win 69% payout, for me, it's not, uh, you, you don't trade. Because it's not a, a significant payout to make you win on the long run. And if you have all your trade with this kind of payout, you will need to accomplish 65% winning trade just to be break even. So I will put it because uh, of the sake of the news, news GPY. So it can permit people who are in other platform to take this level also. But if you're on IQ and you have only 69% payout, I don't consider you to trade this one. So now 
let's go on the euro USD. I will put my alarm at this line so I will be alerted when the price might break it again. And odd USD, I have an alarm just below or above my two level, so I will be alerted just before I will take the trade. Sorry, this exact level is better. And my alarm is a little below, so I will have a little time to to adjust my trade and to guide you also to take it. So Euro is not moving, perfect. Let's go to Euro USD. So Euro USD. I take this level. I always compare my chart from MetaTrader with another data provider, which is for me by Purple Trading, but it can be XM, it's the same. And I look at my chart on IQ, and if the two charts are not similar, I will know that there is some manipulation of price from, from my broker. Well, with IQ, I can tell you I nearly never seen any manipulation of price, but with a lot of scam brokers that you have out there, it's better to have a little security. Especially when the broker is, a, is associating with a market maker, which is the case with IQ option. So, yeah, this level, three touch, yeah. Yep. And as you can see on IQ, we can see directly that this level is also a round number. 1.11. 74.00 so this should be a good time for a call when it will reach this level and now price start to move we have this level which is round number also but the chart on one minute is a little shaky and it doesn't look very good so I'm not very tempted to take this level because it's too close of the actual movement of price when it will bounce up again maybe and maybe it will be better to take this level which has a little more order flow. The price stayed there more more amount of time, which is one eleven seven hundred. Another round number also. So this is for the bottom on Euro USD. And it come back to it, so it might be a good level. And the next level is a very good one on Euro USD. Just below. So I will place the line. Exactly here. This is a good level. Yeah, even in smaller zone, the first touch should be a good one here. Yeah, a little below, even to have more probability of success. Exactly here. Okay. So the price has some weakness going down, which is a good sign. It might take more time to reach the, the lower level, but if the price continues to decelerate this way, approaching to this level, it means it will certainly bounce out of, out of it, so it's a good sign. Even if it takes a little more time. So now let's see our upper level. We have a signal on odd USD, so my alert is triggered. So you should be ready to make a call when it will touch the, yellow, the blue line. So, odd USD. Oh, it reverses at this previous resistance and support. So the expiration will be not 19 but 20 because you want to take the next candle expiration. But as you can see, it happened exactly what I said about the triangle. And you have this triangle formation here. And at the end of the formation of the triangle, what happened is a breakout. And with strong candles after this congestion uh, pattern. So it might continue to go down for some time. If not, we will just wait the right level to take our trade. There is a strategy that says that when the price leaves this triangle or this congestion zone, you can take for one minute and following the 
the exit the breakout candle but if it's a false breakout it's a losing one so i prefer to go for something a little safer which is a good support and resistance uh, proven in this exact time frame that it will bounce nearly uh, more than 70 percent of the time which is the case with this with those level so for the euro usd i will wait this level and on the top it's a good level here also one two three four five rejection one break it's a good probability and what about this one because the level seems to move a little higher one two three four five six six rejection one break uh, two break here four break here so so but on the recent event the price seems to react well to this level what, uh, what about the last rejection the last rejection was a little more weaker but there is strain going down now Yeah, maybe we can take this level. Yes, it's a good one. A lot of order flow and now it rejects very widely on the last touch. So this yellow line can be a good a good trade for a put if the price succeeds to make a movement quite regular going up. If it creates an horizontal congestion zone exactly here, it will make the same one that then with the triangle it will explode in way the direction it will go and it will not be safer to take this level which is quite close from the price but if the price goes straight up we can take a put here and we can take a call here which is significantly uh, far away so the price should react well at this point okay what about this one the triangle has been broken so it might continue to go down and our level is way down something like that so I know exactly where I go and my line should be a little more yeah, above because the price touched it quite this can be good for a put also here because it will break this support zone exactly here yep so we have also an, op an opportunity to take a put when the price will reach this level above so the closest level are on odd USD and on Euro odd. Another info about the trade that you will take. Enter your trade only, and I say only, above the level if it's a put or below the level if it's a call. Because those lines are plotted with precision to, to see the probability of success of, uh, and reject more than... 60-70% of the time, so we trade probability, we still have 30% chance to lose the trade, but still the precision of the line is very important and if we want to be in a safe haven, every trade that we take, we have to break the level and to take our entry, for example, here, here for example, but not below, if we take a put, and below this level and not above if we take a call to have more probability of success in our more odds with us so price regains strain going up it might continue to go up on odd usd and still ranging on euro odd with the round number which is 1.5 Zero, 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 etc. So the price, as you can see, is really attracted by this round number, which is a very powerful round number, and it doesn't reject so much. It means the price come back to to it, and after it range around because a lot of people make buying and selling decision at this point again and again and again. So the price doesn't take a decision right now. More volume will come in the market with the German Open, which is only in one hour and a half. So we still have time, and this congestion will, should stay a little in this kind of way for, for some time. 
That's why also it's better to trade on 1 minute because on 5 minute and 15 minute chart you will not have so much movement uh, happening during this time. Especially also because one of the Asian uh, market stops, I don't remember if it's uh, Sydney or Tokyo, and uh, it lessens the volume again, so it's not the best time to trade actually. The best time to trade will be around um, 1 a.m. GMT to 3 a.m. GMT and after around 8 to 10 GMT a.m. In the afternoon after it will be 2 hours after the New York Open for the New York session to be uh, to have more more probability of success also. Why is that? Is because when you when you change the session I mean, you know, the, the market is 24 hours, 5 days a week, and you have three sessions, Asian, London, and New York. And when you change the session, you change the group of traders that trade in this market, and the group of traders will be uh, will create his own support and resistance and will react to his own uh, level. So if you go from the Asian session with low volume, because this is the lowest volume market, and you go to the London opening, especially on Monday, you will need to wait around two hours for the people from Europe essentially to create their own support and resistance and to be familiarized to the market before you can trade accurately some level of support and resistance. And uh, most specifically on the Monday because it's after the weekend and everyone rushed to buy a new position on Monday. And it happens the same with New York. New York it will take around two hours on the beginning of the week and it happens but with less impact every day for traders to be uh, to be able to rely on, on their own support and resistance with this market. That's why the best hours to trade is always two hours after the opening of London, after the opening of uh, Tokyo and uh, Sydney, and uh, after the opening of, of New York. The opening can be good if you have a specific strategy that will use the difference of volume to push the currency in one direction or, or in the other but it will ask a specific study of this specific time of the day. If you use any technical analysis, it's better to wait this specific time to trade more accurately. And as I explained, I don't take the round number right now on Euro odd, because the price is so much attracted by it that the narrow candle doesn't give me so much security in the, in the rejection. So it might reject, but you will have to take a very, very good SR and to be very precise in your entry. And sometimes with IQ you have a little delay of 3 seconds when you place your 1 minute trade. So it's better if you trade a, a moment where you will have a little bigger candle to give you a little more movement on the price on 1 minute to be successful with this, with this short expiration. Hmm. I didn't notice but it's a round number also with odd USD. It's 0 0.74500. That's why the price is attracted to it and doesn't succeed to go out. And I think it's a round number also on yeah. On Euro USD. 1.11750. Just for information, before traders were talking in uh, for example a fraction of number. So there was one um, 11 one quarter, eleven, one half, eleven, three quarter and so on and so forth. So when you see a um, a round number which is, uh, for example, this one, 1.11750 and 775, uh, 725, those numbers are considered as round number because at the beginning when traders were trading, they were trading this quarter of number. So Euro USD went down, it can be a good opportunity for a call if it continues its way. Now it, exact, it is exactly at a minor support and resistance, widely broken over the time, so it's not a safe, a safe place to take a call here. But in the past you have some reactions, so the price might react a little. Yeah, something interesting that I can tell you while we are here is when you plot a support and resistance sometimes I was plotting my line exactly here which is the extreme bottom of the last previous touch we agree 
But if I look in the past, I see that my line didn't react exactly here, or maybe I can put a second one, but it reacts a little above here. And this line above has a good reaction type during the previous time. The weak managed to, to touch it and come back again and again and again. So this illustrates totally that the support and the resistance is more a zone than a, a regular point. And that's why you will have to take your entry point if you make a call above this line to put you in more security because this is a zone and uh, it acts like a rubber band and the price might touch it, break it a little and after still bounce back up. And also a saying among traders is the level move a little with time. So if it's, if it's in the past, the level was exactly here, it might be right at the moment a little below based on the price action and the market conditions that might change a little over a period of time. So still no move with the euro odd and odd USD it's a round number also so it does the same it range around again and again and again so we still wait for those level to be touched and euro USD is near for coal and I would prefer to enter at my second yellow line at the bottom not the first, to get more security there. Exactly here. But even if at the end of the time the, um, the price doesn't succeed to touch our level, you can take the trade exactly where I told you for the first touch. I mean, if the price move in one direction exactly correctly, with not extra big candle, for me an extra big candle is a candle uh, which will be more than two times the biggest of the five previous candles. And if you have that, it means someone is moving the market, like Big Bank, and uh, there is big transaction happening right now, and you don't go against this transaction because you don't know where it will end. So, except if you have this kind of behavior, you can take uh, those level quite securely, even if the webinar is, uh, is finished and it didn't manage to touch. I will analyze USD CAD, but I put alert before. Buy on USD. Yeah, so this one is good. Okay, Euro USD continue to go up. Sell on USD. Sell Euro USD. Okay, go the way here. Buy Euro USD. Okay, so my alert has already. I believe when the price will get out of this range that is creating on Euro odd and odd USD, it will jump up or down, but significantly. So let's take a look at USD CAD now. For example, with our Fibonacci right here, and let's zoom out and find our strong support and resistance. Very good one. Can be on one minute. Good one too. Very good here. Yeah. And that's it. Yep. So one minute, uh, what is the effect of the price on one minute? How does it react? Oula. When you see a big movement, uh, not big movement, but blue candle all in a row like that, this is very bad market condition to trade this currency pair. Because it means the software is not able to correctly determine what a, what is a bearish or bullish candle. And it goes all in the same way, but if you go on IQ, you will have a different vis vision of it. So it's not a good sign. Yeah, here it is. 
better. Yep, Euro USD. It's reverse already. So the uh, it seems the price decelerating. Might reverse exactly here, which is a good support and resistance on one minute. As you can see, I'm placing another line exactly here. Ah, it's a good level. My bad, but it was very close of the price, so that's why I didn't take it. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six touch, only two cross, uh, seven, seven, seven bounce, eight bounce, and when it cross, it cross with big candle, which is another good sign for this. So I might reverse from now, but since it was a little close of the price, I will still go for the next level, which is my yellow arrow exactly here to make a put for one minute. And if the price is ranging at this level, it will be maybe better to give this level as a safety, better than this one in the middle. Because you have more probability of success in this extreme point. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six rejection, only one cross. And this cross, if you have taken your entry a little above, you would have won this trade also. So it could have been uh, 8 touch and 8 bounce without breaking it correctly. Okay, so it reverses a little at this level. So let's see. But if it creates a range here, it can be dangerous for the next level, so I will go for the extreme here. Okay, doesn't manage to break it. Now it's a good sign if it closes down that it will continue to go down. And it might be our opportunity to make a call it will come back to it. No movement, no movement. Yeah, the euro USD is the closest. But you have USD CAD which is quite good level too. So let me zoom out what happened here. What happened here is we have a strong level also exactly where the price is. The level below is quite so-so. Uh, price break more times than it bounces out of it, so I will not take it. But I might take this one. Seems to be good, yeah. So I put my alert. Better. So it will be a buy USD CAD. Buy USD CAD. Perfect. And it will tell me when it will be near here. Okay, Euro USD is at our level. It will be for a call. Enter below the level. Buy Euro USD. Below the level, and if you take the no, no, it's the second level you want to take it. Sell USD you want to take it when it will touch. Buy exactly Euro now. USD. You enter for the end of the next candle. So it will be 48. Expiration is 48, and your entry point is the second yellow line here. Exactly here for a call for a call at this level entry and we focus on one currency pair because it's complicated to trade correctly two pairs at the at the same time and it's good because this one was too big. So good for this one and come back to Euro USD. It's a good entry point for now. So, as I said, you should have entered a little below the level. So the level was exactly here. Let me fine tune. Yeah. The level was exactly here. Buy Euro USD. Touch again. Oh, break it. It's not a good sign. So you still have 30 seconds, 30 seconds, uh, it uh, looks like a huge break, okay, so it will be a losing one. Okay, first trade should be Oteme, I think. Yeah, sorry for this. Uh, Jim, well done. Anyone took it? 
as we can see this level is quite good and the price reacted so we will take a trade when the price will come at this level for a put or we can take also a call at the next level yeah very strong strong level here yeah. so if the price manage to touch this level you will make a call same end of the one minute after the touch and on IQ it will be yeah this level which is 1.117073 or 76 so touch of the week yeah if you take this level it's a good probability one also yeah but uh, for euro USD right now you see a break of this level yes you see big candle but these candle are not bigger than the previous at the beginning of the movement and you see a creation of a doji in the middle nearly every time so it's not something that I would call a very strong movement this movement for example one two three four five can five candle in a row in the same direction but without a doji inside it's always making progress in the downside direction in this one we have three three candle we have a deceleration here which was our opportunity if we take 30 seconds to win but it was a losing for one minute and after the price make a, not a very big candle because it breaks a little the doji but not so much okay signal on odd usd it's near our level so be ready for a call when it will be touching the blue line and you want to enter below the blue line exactly at this level as I said before one trade by setup and you keep the same size or you can eventually decrease your size but you don't increase your size this is the safest way to win on the long run this is also a good support in this one minute chart but not on higher time frame so I don't take it I prefer to wait for the next and since it break down it might go up a little but reject from this level and continue the fall down after and if it breaks that it might also be a good level here to take for put maybe a little lower like this level yeah it can be also a good SR from now on to take a put exactly at this level for one minute if it managed to come back up as high as this one because there is a lot of order flow a good horizontal congestion zone here and the top of the congestion is exactly here this one is a little more risky I mean the level below because the price is quite near so it might break up again if it's a false breakout but the top definitely will stay a good level that would attract some kind of order flow with stop loss and etc so odd USD can be good for call if it managed to touch the blue line on my chart your odd is, is always still in congestion area USD CAD uh, we didn't take it because we were on euro USD and finally it's a round number or not not really so I would prefer to take an extreme point higher than this one it was correlated USD CAD and euro USD that's why when you have two pair correlated it's better to don't take the trade on one of them you take only one setup and one trade so on USD come back to the bottom of the congestion <coughs> I don't take it because it was too close from the price even if it seems it's a good one and it's not very regular zone so I prefer the top of the zone the price react exactly nearly at the same level so it will give us more more order flow more probability so what USD reacted well it was an in the money for this level which was weakest than the upper so it should go well for the top of the congestion on odd USD okay so odd USD return in the ranging zone so now the top of the range on the one minute chart will be a good opportunity for put odd USD be ready it goes up pretty widely 
So your entry will be above the yellow line. So something like that. You wait it to cross it and you enter when it's crossed. Expiration, end of the next candle. Oh, it bounced nearly at our level, but didn't touch. Okay, enter now for the next minute. So I don't know what time it will be on IQ, but it should be. Odd USD, yeah, 502. 502 is the right expression. And Euro Odd is near also. If you entered on Odd USD, let it go and Five. go on Euro Odd now. Which is a strong level. Nearly touch our level for a call one minute. Yeah, Euro odd. Thirty second between the end. What happened on on IQ option, it looks like to be uh, good in the money on IQ option for the expiration. Cool. Happy for you guys. Yeah, Sean, it was a little early, but I agree. It was very near, so the temptation was, was good. And it was unpredictable that the price will go very deep down and very deep up again. So, well, nothing to do. You trade it correctly. 2-0, Jim, okay, perfect. 2-1, okay. Euro odd, ring again, so might have touched it. Yeah, maybe my level was a little too low. I should have put it a little higher. Someone took the euro odd a little below. Very strong level. Yeah, maybe I was a little too low for my SR. Yeah, I should have plotted two lines to be sure, and in the middle would have been the perfect entry. So, no one in on Euro Hot for a call? No, it seems. Okay. So, at least on our USD, we get one in the money. Okay, so let's wait for the next uh, opportunity. So now that ODUSD broken this level, if it did manage to go significantly up, we could have taken a call at the same level when it would have came back, but now it's in the size, so it might break down in the ranging zone again, because the volume are not so much uh, so much good right now. So okay, good for that. But on odd USD, I think the bottom can be taken now because the movement is significantly higher. So we can make the same trade and make a call at this yellow line here when it will come back there. Rejection, rejection in the opposite direction, rejection here again. It's a good sign on the actual time that the price reject correctly here. So odd USD can be good for a call next. Mario to one. Euro odd in the money. Okay, well done. Well done, well done. Cool. So it means two signal in the money and one signal out of the money. And Sean, sorry for that. So odd USD can be good for a call here. So I will put my alert a little before so I will hear it. And this one, I must wait the next line. The next line should be this one. The yellow line at the top. So then, Euro USD. If it managed to come down, it would be a good one. Uh, then Euro odd. Yeah, it's a good one. My level was little below, so happy those who took it because it was a good two times in the money for this one. And now USD CAD. USD CAD is so so. The level is not so much strong. And the market looks uh, 
3p so usd can maybe we should avoid and concentrate still on our three most traded currency pair odd usd your odd and euro usd at least i hope you recovered and you should be in profit now uh, so euro odd is a very strong level as we can see so the next touch i will not take it except if the price make 20 candle after it come back to this level so it means after the webinar if the price come back to this level after 30 candle and doesn't create a ranging zone near near this level the bottom line yellow here you can take the trade for a call and if it breaks this level I mean if it comes back right now for example below 10 to 50 candle and break this level you will can use this level as a new resistance and you will can make a put and that's exactly what happened but it, it rejects widely <laughs> so no, not yet but if it breaks because this white candle was quite big so if the strength of the market continue to go in the downside direction and break this level you will can use it as a resistance and make a put out of it and if it doesn't manage to break it after 20 candle between the last touch you can take it eventually but not right now uh, we see some correlation between odd USD and euro euro odd when you have a big attempt to move up it was a big attempt to move down and after widely rejected by the market at the same level and the movement looks a little like the same with a support zone and resistance in the middle for example if I place my resistance exactly here you have some correlation in the market between the previous movement uh, oppositely correlated when the one goes up the other one goes down it is oppositely correlated because the odd Australian dollar is in second position on euro odd and on the first position on odd USD but it means exactly the same thing it means on odd USD when the price go up it means the Australian dollar gain strength gain value and on euro odd when the price go down it means uh, that your Australian dollar gain value also yeah, good rejection here but I will not take this level it was just for the sake of the correlation explanation so now our level is near on odd USD for a call if it retouch our yellow line at the bottom of the congestion exactly here so it's a call for one minute this one on euro odd it's not so much regular in the past so it ring on USD so I think it touch it it touch it exactly it touch our level someone took it the expiration will be the next minute so the next minute on odd USD would be 510 exactly this would have been the best expiration let me confirm it on MetaTrader, but uh, yes, it is. 510 would be the right expiration. And it was a uh, takeable, good one. And it's a, it's a round number on ODUZ. Powerful round number. On every chart, if you see round number like that, you can expect a rejection at this number or just above, like uh, 50, 20 and 49 80 something like that most of the time the price will react at this level so it should be in the money for this one odd usd good job for one yeah well done well done sean cool so uh, now in this currency pair odd usd since we have a bounce here and we have already a bounce in the other direction i think i will not take this level anymore because it just has been broken so it means there is some difference now in the market and you can see the difference in volume which is very important to see good job mario well done well done de rien donc as you can see the previous volume was uh, some kind of little and regular like three going up one down three going up one down something like that and now you have volume that increase steadily little by little and it is uh, 510 GMT which is one hour before the German open so when you see volume increasing like that most likely when you have an horizontal congestion like that it means the price will take a decision to break the level 
maybe the top or the bottom, whatever. And uh, you have to, to take care of this specific uh, indicator because the volume is really what's happening in the market. And when you see volume increasing and the size of the candle increasing, you don't go against the candle right now. KK, good job. 3-1, yeah, overall it should be 3-1 for everyone. 4-1, yeah. So even 3-1, it's 75%, and you still should achieve your daily goal, which is 5%, so it's a good good thing to know. Let me review if there is an opportunity in here. But as you can see, the odd USD now doesn't respect anymore this level. Uh, very tightly, and the the volume make it break, and it's not safe to trade in this kind of situation anymore at this level. The yo odd touch again our level and reject it, so it was another opportunity, but we didn't take it because it touches before, and there is only one, two, three, four, five candle before the retouch, so it was not safe to take it. And uh, what's that? No. And then, so. I can review with, with you before we end this webinar the next level that can be good to take. So the next level will be on odd USD at this extreme point, which is a very good level. So you can make uh, a put at this yellow line at the top. This one is useless anymore. So this yellow line can be good for a put for one minute after the webinar is closed. And for a call, I still assume that my blue line here is a good extreme support and resistance, and you can take it for a call quite securely. So just check it on your own chart, one minute chart. It's an extreme support here, and it's an extreme resistance in a range with low volume, so it's quite safe to take them. Avoid the German Open in 50 minutes and avoid the, all the hours and half that follow because it is London Open just after. So avoid this time to trade one minute especially. Then on your odd, what are the good levels that you can take? So now that the level left the round number, you can take quite securely this level which is also a Fibonacci level. And if you want to make a put at this level, it's quite secure for one minute because of the lot of order flows that took place here. So now people think the movement will continue to go down and it can be a possibility. So when it comes back to here, you can expect a rejection for one minute. Same with the level at the bottom, when it will break it, if it takes more than five candles to come back to it, you can take a securely a put at this level after that, that will transform. And this level is still validate. I mean, it's the top of our horizontal congestion zone which is strong because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven touch and uh, the price is not able to break it. So when the price will make the all the way up, if it succeeds to make all the way up, you can take a put quite securely at this level again. Then now our level is broken on Euro odd. So if it continues down, when it will come back up, you can take a put quite securely at this level. Uh, I have an alert on USD CAD, but I will just remove it. And the last is Euro USD. If you have a correct payout, you can still take one minute. I, mean, I will succeed to do it. One minute trade at this level, and after, if this level is broken, you will have this level, which is quite secure on this chart. You have two opportunities to make a, a call, a put. Sorry. So if the first is broken, don't worry. You have the opportunity to to bring back and to recover with this level here for one minute. Once again, avoid the news and London and German open. Then for this bottom, you will have this level, which seems to be still quite good. No, it doesn't seem it is a good level. Wildly, widely rejected in the past more than 10 times. And you can take a good trade at the bottom here at my yellow line, which is a good level for one minute or five minutes. So all the three currency pairs are good if it's happen within 15 minutes nearly. Okay, good everyone. I see you have good results, so I'm proud of you. And it was a good session overall. 
I wish you a good day and uh, see you next week, Wednesday, for GMT, like every week.